Hey guys, this is John. I'm going to do another puzzle rush session. Five runs. Let's get it started. If you want to point out my errors, you definitely can do that. Leave it in the comments. Because I will definitely get some of them wrong. But let's start to try to start strong here. As we cruise through the initial problems. Okay. So black to move. Ah, uh, just pick up the rook. That does lead to mate. Two bishop mate. This looks correct. Feels like a queen trap. Take f2. Feels like it must be. Okay. Oh, that was a mouse up. Meant rook takes h6. That hurts because that was an easy one, too. Mouse slips will happen sometimes. Just got to roll with it. Okay. Hmm. Bishop about five, probably. Clearance. Okay. Go take the piece. Still a pretty good run here. D6. Mm. Okay. Queen's under attack. Okay, checkmate there. Win a piece. It's got to be Bishop F8. Let's take B7. Okay. comes over. So many discoveries here. Knight b5, knight d5. This looks strong to me. And then bishop e3. Okay. Rook f6. Okay, 40 with a minute left. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, had five seconds left. Just went with my best guess on that one, F6. All right, not bad, 42 to start. My all-time record is still 45. That's the highest I've ever gotten in Puzzle Rush. And I've noticed if you're gonna get a high score in Puzzle Rush, it's probably gonna be at the very beginning of your session. You're the most sharp then. So I wanna to try to knock out a good score in these first couple runs. But let's put this one on the board. Whoops. <laughs> 45 is wishful thinking. Time my personal best. 42, and let's go again. Like I said, if you notice any that I got wrong, feel free to point them out in the comments. Uh, I won't be pausing to go look at them. Checkmate. Pin the queen. Discovery. Free knight. Smother mate. Smother the queen, another smother mate. Shout out to our chess. Um, D2, D2 just looks good. Hmm. Okay, check and pick up the loose bishop, loose rook. Take that with check. No mouse slips this time. Let's do it. I think taking d5 eventually wins. Ah, but f3 just wins a piece. Okay. Black's threatening stuff, so take this way. I'll go pick that guy up. Rookie four, rookie five. Mm -hmm. This is some famous stuff. Ninety six or better. Mm. Wasn't really noticing better there. Chuck. This is nifty. Just a column checkmate. Okay, still doing well. Getting on the dark squares. Always nice to cast a lot of danger. Okay. Uh, take here. Hmm. Okay, F4, 34, 2 minutes, 18. Got to be careful. No, I would like to go faster. Oh, bishop g1. Yeah, bishop g1, bishop f2, bishop g3, and mate. Okay, so a 35 on that one. Started out strong, but that, that strike in the last row there, the second row, that is. That hurt me. That set me back. I want to see all green check marks there on the top two rows. Then it'll start to get tough in the third row. But uh, yeah, we'd like to get all green check marks there. All right, run number three. Another mate on F2. Free queen. Let's kick the knight out. Knight on H4. Uh, this is mate in two. Okay. Support the rook and mate. Queen trap. Uh, 
Feeling good? Another queen trap. Oh, king d2. Mm. Bummer. Queen e5. Queen c5. Or just take here. This wins a piece. If take, can we stop that? Yes, we can. Take a guess there. Um, let's take that way. Okay, strong score. Black's going to take h3, but then what? F4, maybe? Hmm. Okay, yeah. Didn't even matter. Uh, B4, no. A4. Trap the queen. Okay. Bishop G six. Right, good score. Keep it up. Feels like it's got to be someone who takes. I'm going to guess that. Mm. Mm, okay. Probably queen g3 on this one. Queen g3 then take on f1 or queen h3 first and take f1. That's probably it. Okay, 40. Again, yeah, not bad. Still didn't get those two top rows full of green, but not bad. My average, by the way, I think I've done about 70 runs or so at this point. My average is a little over 36 in Puzzle Rush, just for context. Let's go again. Run number four. At least I'm consistent. Would like to get, yeah, like I said, those top two rows correct, but at least I'm consistent. Um, this one. OK. 
Okay, take. Uh huh, Damiano's mate. Take the queen. Oh, that hung the queen. That kills the queen. Check and then check again. Take f5, he has rook f6. That's this. Okay. Gotta pick it up here. So many discoveries. Um, I have trouble when there's so many checks. Uh, let's check here to start. Nope. Okay. So on two strikes. Two minutes left still. I mean, could it be anything other than taking the queen? Bishop f6, maybe? Hmm, okay. I think I overthought that one. <laughs> it's probably just bishop takes d8. Uh, bishop h6, there's g6. Yeah, just bishop takes d8, maybe knight takes a1, then bishop f6. That could be the solution. Yeah. Probably thought about that one a little bit too much. Okay. So 42, 35, 40, 29. Let's try to knock out a, a real strong score on the final one. Above 40 would be fantastic. Okay, easy checkmate so far. Open the lines. Take G6 maybe. Okay. Bishop. This looks like a line opener. Take. Hmm. Some mates threatened. Uh Probably check here. Nope. Okay. Pick up the rook. Okay, this is just going to be mate. Got to be take f6. Oh, 
Oh, there's force mate there probably. Um, where to check with the queen? Oh, 27. And I bombed out early on that one. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, not a strong final two runs there. As I was saying, though, if you're going to put in a big score on Puzzle Rush, I think normally it's going to come at the beginning of your session. And it's uh, diminishing returns in terms of your score the further you get into the session. So, not terrible. 42, 35, 40, 29, 27, but... I feel I could have posted some bigger numbers there right at the end. Why don't I try to solve this final one just for fun? Uh, I was looking for a mate, but I didn't see one. Queen c4, king d1, I didn't know exactly what to do. But uh, I didn't see any other check that was compelling. If I check on f2, king d1, didn't look like there was any difference. Ah, it's queen c1. I didn't even look at this check for some reason. Queen c1. Queen c1... King d3, then bishop c4, and the bishops assist uh, with the queen in checkmating. So, bummed out on the 1502 and the 1557 problem. Okay, so I'll keep trying these puzzle rushes every once in a while. Um, hope you guys are doing well, lead up to the holidays here. I wanted to give a special shout out to the non-native English speakers who watch my videos. I know there's quite a few of you, I really appreciate that. And I know I speak really fast sometimes, not so much on this video because there's not that much commentary, but if you ever need me to clarify anything, please let me know. Um, and again, thanks for watching. So I'll be back again soon with another video. Appreciate it, guys, and have a good rest of your weekend. Bye.